good. All right, people are starting to watch. Get ready! Yeah. Woo! We are on tour, and we're doing it better than anybody else alive! It's so hard for me to sit back here in this studio looking at a guy out here hollering my name when last year I spent more money on spilled liquor in bars from one side of this world to the other than you made. Drag your nuts, baby. Breakers Road, Grand Slam exclusive, son. Drag them, let's go. One of one, baby. Let's go. You're talking to the Rolex wearing, diamond ring wearing, kiss stealing, woo, wheel of dealing, limousine light, jet flying, son of a gun, and I'm having a hard time holding these alligators down. Woo! Tillman Tab and the Nighthawk Knock. Come on, come on. Let's go, baby. What up, what up, what up, baby? Let's go. What is up, Grand Slam Nation, son? Bringing the thunder tonight, aren't we, Joe? Hell yeah. What's going on, guys? Uh, it's just me today. Uh, Nate, as always, out trying to work some deals. Uh, get that get that card flow up. Brooke worked really hard today. Uh, helping me get everything shipped out. Uh, and Austin's off. Gary's running the store. <clears throat> A couple quick things about Collector's Club. Uh, Nate's been saying it. And um, I know everybody runs out and gets it, but do me a favor and read the descriptions. Since we've been doing it on the month-to-month -month basis, where like uh, when you go to the website and it says which month it is and everything, in the description, I give you what the ship dates are. Um, so like for next month, uh, like for March, it said it would ship between March fourth and March eighth. Tomorrow's March eighth. We're gonna finish them up and have them out tomorrow. Uh, for April, it'll be between April 8th and April 12th, okay? Just like on those next 50 jerseys for the gold mine that we're busting. If you guys look at the description, like I put it in there like four different times, okay? Um, I know sometimes you guys like to joke and mess around with us or whatever, but um, from today until April ships, um, at least once a day, I'll get a question about Collector's Club. And I don't mind answering for you guys, but we do supply and put that information out there. So March Collector's Club, we're just, we're just finishing it all up. It's going to go out tomorrow. Um, me, Rook, and Nate are even coming in a little early tomorrow morning to ensure that it all goes out. Um, but it'll all be done. Uh and then for April, as I said, because I, I, I know I know as soon as I say this, in about two weeks, somebody's going to be like, hey, when's when's April going to ship? And that's, that's being generous. Between April 8th and April 12th. Now, will we probably get it out before then? Probably. You know, it all depends. Um, could it be all the way to April 12th? It could be. Um, it's just, I'm trying to save you all the hassle. I've been trying to make sure that I put that in there. Um because it makes it easier for all of us. That way, if, if if the expectation is set, and you know, and then I know, plus it kind of holds our feet to the fire and makes sure you get it out of there uh, ahead of time, you know. Uh, so, always, I'm not saying anybody's complaining, guys. I, I, I don't mean it like that at all. I'm just saying people ask, and like I've, I've been trying to be more transparent about posting that information. That way you guys aren't just left in the balance. Like, I've been trying to give us a... a a, a, a um, date range that way like it keeps us all that way you guys kind of have an idea of what to expect and uh you know i have it well i don't i say i but we all have a deadline to get that shit out to you okay um so no i'm not saying anybody's complaining i'm not trying to be mean to anybody i'm not trying to call nobody out i'm just simply saying like if you read the descriptions like on pre-sales now sometimes what sucks uh is uh, they fucking push shit like for months. It, uh, March thirteenth was when National Treasures Football is going to come out, and then all of a sudden this week or whatever it turns into the fifteenth. Um, so that sucks. But like on pre sales uh, and Collectors Club thing like that, I've been trying really hard to be transparent. Uh, I know Nate's been doing the same. You know, Nate Dog will try to make sure when he creates these listings that he's putting dates up in there as well. Uh, just so you guys know. 
Um, Lynn, that's kind of what I'm driving at. No, nah, I'm just messing with you. Uh, Packs to the Future are not going out with Collector's Club. Those will probably be next week or the week after. Um, because we're trying to kind of space it out where like the beginning of the month kind of time is when Collector's Club comes out. Then maybe closer to like middle of the month uh, will be uh, where Packs of the Future comes out. Uh, maybe kind of get this thing set up where it's almost every other week or every two weeks, however you want to say it. Uh, that way you guys can keep your fix. Uh, so be ready for that. Um, but no, I just... I don't know. I don't. Don't get me wrong. We all know what we expect, and we all know what we buy. And uh, you know, you may not read the description on Collectors Club. I mean, hell, like if you know that you want the Collectors Club monthly packs and that you want football, you just buy the damn thing, and you're like, hey, I got what I wanted. Um, I'm just saying, check the descriptions. I'm I'm, tr I'm trying, guys. I really am, um, because uh, I know it. it it, it can at times be annoying uh, when you get bombarded with the same question. But for you guys, I know it can also be annoying if you don't really know. Like, you're just asking because you may not know. So, um, just working really hard to try to make sure that the dates are out there. Uh, that way, if you guys are wondering, you can just go on the site and click it. And it'll be there. So, the April dates are there. Um, Ginger, it'll be tomorrow night. Uh Thanks. Thanks, Robert. Really appreciate it, man. Um, so for April Collectors Club, like I try, I try so hard sometimes, right? Uh, you guys can, can, can hate me and say I'm the, I'm the bad cop. Um, cause I am a lot of times, but, uh, I try so hard to sometimes talk Nate dog down a little bit but you know how he do does so for March Collectors Club 10 random people and it's not it is regardless of sport 10 random people are uh, are getting a, a are gonna have a plates and patches hobby box show up with their with their collectors club and uh, you know as as we do uh, sometimes we'll have like some soundboarding sessions uh, where we bounce shit off each other. Uh, thanks, Todd. Um, and Nate was like, how, "How do you think that went?" But I think it's cool, man. Who doesn't? Uh, whatever, Joel. I appreciate it though. Um, don't let anybody tell you different. Or you know, uh, But I was like, I, I think that worked out really well. Let's do that again. And. Uh, you know, Nate thought about it for a second. And Nate's like, nah. For April, we're going to give out not 10, but we are going to give out 24 different hobby boxes in Collector's Club, regardless of sport, okay? So whichever Collector's Club you purchase for April, You have a chance to get one of 24 various hobby boxes. You might get a baseball, a football, basketball, a hockey hobby box, whatever. But there's going to be 24 different hobby boxes. So as much as I try to keep, uh, uh, as much as sometimes to be like, hey, man, Nate, maybe we should think about it. Nah, Nate wants to give back to y'all, all right? 24 hobby boxes. So we're sending out 10. And March Collectors Club is going to be finding new homes here very soon. Uh, for April, we're doing 24. Two, four. 24 hobby boxes. So, April's Collectors Club is already loaded on the website. Um, all four incarnations. So, I've seen some of you have already been out there to the site only at GrandSlam.com. Uh, go ahead and order your April Collectors Club and get that thing locked in. You might be one of the ones that's going to get one of 24 hobby boxes. So, I guess I beat up on Collectors Club a lot. It's one of my favorite things that we do. It's a lot of hard work. It's a real fucking pain in the ass. Um, it's not like we really make a whole lot off of it. 
But I don't know, man. I, I love it. It's a lot of fun, man. I really enjoy Collector's Club. It's a labor of love, getting it out there um, and seeing uh, seeing the hits and some of the stuff you guys pull out of a random combination of hobby packs. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's incredible. So, hell yeah, Robert. Hell yeah, nation. No all basketball, Jeremy. Um, but if you request... Basketball, I mean, we can, we can add more basketball to it. Packs to the future, Chris. Um, expect that in another week or two. Yeah, but I, I get what you're saying, Jeremy, but, like, the amount of requests we get for basketball are really slim. So, um, we'll see. Chuck, I'm going to get to the Dragapalooza in just a second. Um, in case football drops tomorrow, guys, we have a very limited amount. Um, I don't, it, Nate's been saying it and I agree with him, man. I just don't, I just don't think they made a whole bunch of it. Uh, so it's probably going to go quick. So, uh, when we get that, when we get that loaded, if you're wanting to do in case you better jump on it quickly. So it's coming up folks. It's going to be tomorrow. Uh, the lots more I'm talking about is make sure you hit the website. You know, there's the Collectors Club. One of my personal favorite group breaks we did once before. Um, and we're going to be, uh, and we have another one. At, excuse me, we have another one in. Is uh, Hit Parade, Perfect Game Baseball or something like that. 27 spots, folks. There's 27 baseballs in there. I would really, really love to bust that tomorrow night. Um... That way, where do you get this? Um, but, yeah, it's over here on the floor is why I keep looking over there. 27, uh, 27 baseballs. And there could be black baseballs. Uh, there could be all kinds of great stuff. My record ain't dropping anytime soon, man. If I had a beat machine, I probably would already put out about 15 mixtapes in 2019 alone. Uh, I don't know, Thomas. Yeah, guys, please do me that favor, man. Do me that favor. Um, I was talking to the Rook today, and I said, you know what, man? We go live. We talk about these 24 hobby boxes that Nate can't wait to give away. And I know a lot of you guys are a big fan of the Collectors Club. I said we could sell 100 today. Um, it is only 2.56 in the p.m. Central Time, so... Uh, if y'all could do me that solid and get out to the site, and I don't care if it's just one of you buys a hundred of them, I'm fine with that. But if you could do me that solid, make sure we get up to a hundred collector club sales today, I would greatly appreciate it. I think that would actually potentially be a one day record for the amount of collectors club uh, since its inception. Like the first day we did it, you guys bought like 400 the first day, but um, that'd be great. We're definitely, Anthony, we're definitely busting it tomorrow night. I would think that there's a chance uh, that we could go live tomorrow. Uh, the April Collect March Collectors Club was the shot at the 10 plates and patches. April Collectors Club's 24 different hobby boxes. Uh, so you had a chance... At 10, at getting one of 10 in March, well, for April, you got a chance to get one in 24. Your odds just went up. Um, I don't know exactly what products you're talking about, but if you ask and I know something about it, I'll gladly share it. Um, so, but yeah, get ready for tomorrow night, guys. Like I said, that perfect, uh, perfect game group break. Let's fill that up tomorrow. Um, also, uh, Triple Play 5 filled and busted last night. We have Triple Play 6 on the website. I think it's only sold in one spot. So if you want to get down on that, we could fill it. Then we have this really cool product from Hit Parade that I'm kind of wanting to check out. Um, it has 12 hockey pucks. You buy the box, you get all 12 pucks, man. Yeah, Todd, that's where I was going, man. So there are 12 hockey pucks inside that box. They're all autographed, okay? Um if you buy that, we're going to bust it and, uh, you know, you get all 12 pucks that are inside. If I'm not mistaken, 
Um, I could be wrong. Um, I'll have to double check. All right, so don't take this as gospel, but I believe there's some bigger names in there, potentially like McDavid, Matthews, and stuff like that. So no basketball-only collector's club just yet. I'll talk to Nate about it. I mean, we'll take a look and see. Um, Cornerstone basketball, I'm not sure. What kind of range, Todd? I'm not. A, I, I don't know a ton about it, man. I, I could take a little bit of a look, but there wasn't a there wasn't a ton of information given to us on it. So I'm only going off of what we were told. As far as Dragapalooza, uh, I think Nate has dropped this, and if he hasn't, I'm getting ready to be the asshole, and hopefully I don't get fired. Uh, but there has been talk of potentially having a product that's going to release, a Grand Slam product that is going to release uh, during Dragapalooza that is 100% exclusive to those that are attending Dragapalooza. So if you don't come on down to Murfreesboro and come on into the shop, you do not get to purchase the Dragapalooza exclusive product um, some stickers may or may not have been designed and ordered um, so I'm not sure when Immaculate's dropping Chris like I don't I don't have a, 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 a release schedule in front of me and after the end of the month a lot of things I mean some April's finally starting to fill in um, some is finally starting to fill in but outside of about mid-April, a lot of things just have months. Like, it'll say May or May, June or July, August. Um, so, no brick, not even online. It's it's going to be for those nut draggers who come to drag a palooza. I'm not saying it'll never be available online, but obviously first crack is going to be at those that are there. Also for drag a palooza, we're working on an itinerary. We're not trying to schedule everything for you guys uh, or anything like that, but we're trying to get some ideas on some things. So in the very, very near future, I'm going to need people. I'm going to start a, I'm going to start a thread over and after hours. Jeff, it's collector, April's Collectors Club. April Collectors Club. Let's see if... Uh, we can hit a hundred of those today. I told the rook we could. Rook didn't believe in the power, um, but it's there. The dates for Dragapalooza are April twenty fifth, twenty sixth, and twenty seventh. That's a Thursday, Friday, Saturday. I want to give you guys a heads up. If you are coming, and uh, so April four twenty five, twenty six, and twenty seven. Uh, if you're coming in for Dragapalooza. Thanks, Mike. You're the man, bro. Um, and you want to uh, go to the draft, just know you have to have tickets, okay? I don't know if prices are posted or if they're available yet, um, but if you want to attend the NFL draft while you're in town, uh, just know that you're, you're going to have to buy tickets. Um, but uh, what else for Dragapalooza? Like I said, we're not trying to plan out like your guys' days or anything like that. Um, but there's just little things that we're looking at. So I'll start a thread in After Hours where if you post on it, it's because you are 100% going to be in attendance, all right? Um, if you post anything else, I'll delete it because I'm going to have to get some numbers soon because, uh, you know, there are things that we might want to do as a group and it'll be easier... Um, It'll be easier to kind of set some things down with an idea in place of how many people are going to be there, okay? Uh, but I think one of the things that Nate was talking about that sounds like a lot of fun is you guys, I mean, obviously we are chock to the brim full of wax for all your needs. Like I said, exclusive products will be there. Um, but feel free to bring some cards, I guess, because we're, we're going to do a... Uh, I guess like a trade, a Dragapalooza trade night, a Dragapa trade night. Uh, I'm not sure where to go with that. Um, so just be aware of that. Um, I would also say if it's possible, potentially 
Um, get some scripts and come with some penicillin in hand. Penicillin cures most diseases that you might be able to catch, if I'm not mistaken. Um, sometimes it's better to plan ahead. You know, like like when we were in the Boy Scouts, always be prepared. Uh, that's good. That's good, RW. Um, six people travel me from Detroit. Damn. Uh, yeah, hotels, guys, they're going to fill up. Like, we are right off of I-24. And, you know, we're not that far from Nashville. Traffic's going to be a fucking beast. Um, so make sure you're booking your rooms and you're traveling shit now before it all fills up on you. Um, like I said, um, uh, Motel Murfreesboro, I don't recommend it. Nate offered a free box of Heritage to anyone who can actually spend the night there. I would not try to win that bet. Uh, I mean, you're coming out of there with bud, bed bugs and hep C, uh, a, a brand new meth addiction. Uh, so think about it, all right? I mean, I'm not saying a free box of Heritage couldn't be dope, man. You might pull a badass red ink trout or something. But uh, I'm just telling you, I'm just telling you, know, know the risks, okay? Don't go in your room and turn on a black light. You don't want to know what's going to be there, all right? You might find Hoffa. Just let it go, all right? I would go stay somewhere nice. That's kind of where I, I like to do. You know, it's got my free continental breakfast, and my and they deliver the USA Today to my room for me. Uh, you know, and I got a I got a badass bathrobe. Like that's the kind of that's the kind of places I like to stay at. Somewhere that's got a spa. Somewhere where they might you know work on my beard or something. Let me exfoliate. Uh, don't do the Murfreesboro Motel, man. I'm trying to tell y'all. Or Hotel Murfreesboro, whatever the fuck the name is, man. Don't do it. I'm trying to warn y'all, man. I mean, you're going to wake up. Like I said, that, you know. Next thing I know, we're going to be mailing your packages to rehab. Uh, you know, you're going to be on a lifelong uh, prescription. Of some shit. So, don't do it. Todd keeps mentioning Nashville. If you're flying in, that's a good place to go. Realize that traffic is a motherfucker coming from Nashville back to Murfreesboro. Because uh, everybody wants to live and or work in Nashville, but they don't want to live there. So, they live in Murfreesboro and make that commute. So, 5 o'clock, you know, 4 o'clock, 5 o'clock in the evening, you're leaving Nashville. You'll get to Murfreesboro, I don't know, 2 a.m.? It's going to take you a while. Jeff, last night was Triple Play 5. Uh, we loaded group breaks of Triple Play 5 and Triple Play 6. Uh, 5 filled and we busted it last night. 6 will bust tomorrow, hopefully. I think there's only been one spot sold to it, uh, which only leaves two. So if two other people or one other person wants to take two shots, um, go ahead and jump out there. The must-do things around Nashville? Uh, okay. I think this is what happens for everyone that comes uh, through Nashville, okay? What you need to do is you come to Nashville with a 10-gallon hat and a six-string acoustic guitar. Uh, you record a country album. Uh, you blow up. You get a coke addiction. Uh, you lose your wife, your dog, and your job. Um, you go to rehab, and then you go work at Nissan. And I think you can achieve all of that in a one-week time period. You can probably get that done Monday through Friday. Um, so I, I, I know that tends to be a really big thing uh, that happens around Nashville. So there you go, man. You're going to be here in about three weeks. Mustangs to do is there you go, man. You could sell, uh, you could sell a platinum album, um, do a lot of cocaine, get divorced, uh, lose your mansion, your dog will get ran over. Um, you know, they'll do uh, MTV or VH1 will do a special on your career. Uh, you'll get a job at Nissan, and then Saturday you'll pack your shit up and go home, and you'll be like, damn, that was that was a crazy week in Nashville. So. My recommendation, barbecue is a must. I mean, 
when you're snorting cocaine off of that hooker or stripper or both, uh, getting you some ribs on or, uh, yeah, the triple play baseball, man. That's what I was talking about, Jeff. The Chevy. Well, if you drive a Chevy, you deserve it to break down. So, um, that's not me having a, a brand allegiance. I just know what happens. So there you go. Uh, yeah, we, we do have um, places where people may remove clothing for dollar bills. Um, that's always fun. I'm trying to think of the nice ways to say some of this because kids might be on. Um, we might have houses uh, of ill repute that turn on a red light. Uh, I'm not saying I frequent any of these. I'm not saying I don't. I'm just letting you know that there may or may not be these things available. There may be uh, massage places that uh, specialize in a little r and I don't know. Who's to say? Uh, so, is there good blow in Tennessee? Uh, whew. um, the mountains, the mountains, uh, make for good trails and that snow. So, um, uh, I don't know. I can't even decipher that damn code. Hopefully you can, uh, any place to drag your nuts. I drag my nuts everywhere, whether it's going to the Dollar Tree, uh, to the Outback Steakhouse, to the special R and T massage place, uh, to the strip club, uh, to the hotel, to the windows, to the wall. Uh, I drag my nuts everywhere. Nickelbacks. Are you talking about nickel bags? Nobody likes nickel back. I don't think, uh, I don't know, but, um, Everything you're looking for can be found around here. We have it all, man. Hot chicken and good whiskey, Scott. Those are those are fantastic things. Uh, those are a few of our favorite things. Uh, see, Clint will tell us where to go, man. Nickelback hose. Oh my bad, bro. I, I whenever I hear Nickelback, I obviously always think of that shit band that people like to talk about. Bring my own herbal. I mean, Bob, I'm, I'm not supplying anybody. I'm sure you can find it. I would say bring your own. Uh, nickel hose? Yeah, man. I mean, Jesus. Um, when I found out what Robert Kraft is paying for handy hand jibbers, man, I was like, good God. You need to get you a better hand jibber person. Jesus. Paying $50 fucking dollars for a tug. Are you shitting me? It's over at the Hotel Murfreesboro, man. $50 will take care of you for at least a week. I mean, God. I have not been to the CBD hemp shop. Uh, nothing wrong with your language, buddy. Uh, hoes are great. Uh, but yeah, so that's the updates on all that, guys. Someone mentioned earlier on a serious note, if there are a group of you who are coming from a similar... Or, uh, you know, area, geographically. Uh, or even if not, man, you all just want to be friends. Um, you could probably get some group rates at some hotels, but like I said, I'd be doing it quickly. Uh, I, I, may, I may or may not get that post up in after hours today, but please be on the lookout for it. Like I said, only comment on the post. I, I will explain it in there very specifically. Like, if I post a card for trade tonight, don't post on that some bitch that you're gonna be at after you know at, at Dragapalooza. That's not the right post. The post is gonna be talking about Dragapalooza. Okay, look for that one. Look for that one. I'm gonna say, hey, only post here if you're attending. All right. So, you know, reading comprehension, folks. Let's have it. Uh, but. On the real tip, man. Seriously, I'm, I'm really looking forward to meeting a whole bunch of you motherfuckers, man. Y'all are the greatest customers on the planet. Love y'all. <coughs> Excuse me. 
I got to meet some of y'all at Reds Fest, which was really cool, man. Being in my hometown and meeting a bunch of y'all nut draggers. Uh, when I was in Cleveland at the National, it was really cool. A lot of y'all that drive through or plan your vacations uh, here uh, to come through here or head back through here. Stop by with your families and your kids saying hi. You guys, that's, that's by far and away one of my favorite parts of the job. You guys are fantastic. Um, so I'm really looking forward to meeting a bunch of you guys at Dragapalooza. Uh, Michael, I tell you, it, it's a struggle every day, man. I still crave it. I still want one, but what? We're at Stockton. Let's see here. 90 days was in December. So, yeah, we're coming up on six months. Um, <laughs> wow. Clint will let you have a room in his house for a flawless case. Um, you guys ain't staying with me. I don't care if you have to sleep in Rookie's yard. Not staying with me. I'm sorry. It's not. It's not that I don't love y'all. It's cause I love y'all. Can't be staying at my pad. But yeah, get those airlines booked. Get those rental cars booked. Get those. Uh... Thanks, Ty. Uh, Yo, know, get get them hotels booked. I'm telling you, man. Y'all don't even realize. It's just gonna go quick. I mean, we got we got some of them people keep talking about the true or whatever the TRU. Yeah, we got some of that stuff and. Like I say, and we got a Murfreesboro Hotel, Hotel Murfreesboro, whatever. Like, there's always that option. Um, but, you know, we got Red Roof Inn and uh, the Motel 6, and I think we got, like, maybe a Super 8. Um, pick a place close to food is my recommendation, especially one of the 24-hour McDonald's or something. Be smart about it, man. You're going to go out. You're going to get your drink on, right? Don't get caught with your pants down, folks. I'm trying to help you. You're gonna go out. We're gonna have some drinks, all right? Like this is this is just a hypothetical situation. Hold up, I got somebody banging on the door. Hey, let's go, man. Yeah, there's a little bit of a pile over here, but then all that's good. All right, so mailman's here to get that stuff out. So back to what we were talking about. Uh, you know, like hypothetically speaking, Thursday night, let's say uh, we go to a bar to watch the draft, right? You're going to get – White Castle isn't 24 hours here, man. They close at midnight. So, uh, except for maybe on the weekends. Like Jack in the Box closes at like midnight except for on the weekends. But anyway, you're going to get shit-faced, right? You're going to want to pass out. Um, but you know that you need to put something greasy and nasty and, and pukeability on your stomach. Uh, so do it, right? Stay next to the 24-hour McDonald's. Stay next to somewhere that's open all the time, okay? Um, just be prepared. I'm trying to warn you. So medical center, Clint, I agree. Medical center is a good place to stay. Uh, whoever... Whoever, uh, yeah, the, the uh, Taco Hells are open kind of late. Um, whoever brings some Skyline Cheese Conies, man, or maybe some La Rosa's Pizza will be my hero for life. Your car is going to stink for forever, and it's probably not going to taste as good as I want it to, but, like, we'll be friends. If that matters, I'm just telling you now. So... All right, I'm now being invaded from every door. <laughs> but, uh, so yeah, guys, April Collectors Club, it, do me that favor, please, man. Invade only at GrandSlam.com. Should be right on the front page. Let's sell 100 today. Um, like I said, I don't buy 100 yourself, man, and send them out as gifts, man. Hook somebody up. Be like, hey, man, this is some Nut Dragon shit. And you might win one of 24. Oh, Hennessy. Skyline Cheese Conies, La, Rosa, La Rosa's Pizza, and Hennessy. Hennessy. These, these, these three things, man, and we'll be friends. Like, I'll, I'll call you on your birthday kind of thing, okay? Um, Jeff, I hope so. Um, but let's sell 100 of those today just because I told the rook we can't, man. Or I told the rook we can. He said we can't. I believe in y'all, man. 100's easy. Um, 
Plus, you have a shot at getting one of 24 hobby boxes mailed directly to your door. So you'll get your packs to bust, and you're going to have hobby boxes. Yeah, how did I forget Hennessy? Bob, I like Philly cheesesteaks, too. That might get you a card on Easter or something. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, yeah, Skyline can chili is not as good as the real thing, boy. No, I'm not breaking anything tonight. Brian, I appreciate it, but I assure you I am not. Uh, I just wanted to come on and give you guys the updates, man. So, um, Like I said, April's Collector's Club, 24 hobby boxes will be distributed amongst that. They're already on the website. Go and order them. March Collector's Club, we're finishing them up. They're going to be heading out tomorrow. March Packs to the Future. Uh, we'll be going out in just uh, you know another week or two. Um, so if you're interested, go ahead and jump in on that. Uh, encased drops tomorrow. Uh, yeah, guys, don't forget, Jordan's coming out in the dime bags. If you haven't gotten your dime bag yet, hurry up and get it. We'll get that shipped right out to you. Uh, if you have got your dime bag, bag uh, good luck. Um, you know, you're, you, you know, chances are you might get a jersey card of Craig Biggio, or you might get a $25 or something. I don't know. Uh, you might also get that $600, $700, $800 um Jordan Auto. So uh but in case drops tomorrow we don't have much when that goes up on the site if you're interested you need to get in on that very quickly. Um and we're going to be constantly trying to add pre-sales to the site so pay attention. Uh next week's huge man we got National Tre National Treasures. Uh once those group breaks sell out, we'll go ahead and probably list another case worth of them. So if you want to get in on NT uh, box three or NT box four. Those are the only two that are still open. Uh, jump in on that because when the next case gets loaded, prices are not going to be the same. Okay. Uh, so jump in on that. Uh, trying to think, uh, anything else? Um, but yeah, so thanks for tuning in guys. I'm about to get up out of here. Uh, got some things to take care of. Man, okay. Jesse, not for March, buddy. March is done, but you can you can do that for uh, April. All right, guys. So here we go. I'm gonna run this. Uh, I'm gonna run this down one more time. I've been asked this about 15 times being live, and I hope you guys aren't just fucking with me. March Collectors Club. In the description, I type up a description for any product I put on the site. Just as Nate. Um, yes, Jesse, you could, you could get an April one and then when we do them, you can just come pick it up. Uh, I put the ship date for March. It was March 4th through 8th. Okay. I have since learned that you guys may not have known that that information was in the description. So I'm trying to let y'all know now, if you look at the April one, the descriptions tell you the dates that those will be shipping. Uh, so, you know, that way we're all on the same page and it's all transparent. You guys know where you can go look to see that date and I will make sure to put that date in every month so that we're all on the same page. Okay. Uh, damn, Michael, I'm sorry to hear that, bro. So, but yeah, for any of you local nut draggers, man, you can purchase, uh, an April collector's club just like with anything else. Um, and pick it up in store. So, but yeah, March Collectors Club goes out tomorrow. April's Collectors Club is on sale. Won't ship till April, but it's there. Okay. So, I'm about to wrap this up and, and take off. Um, if you guys have any other questions, real quick, stupid or otherwise, uh, post them up. Finish off that Sprite. Tasty. And said, I'm just hoping y'all prove to the Rook that he don't know what the hell he's talking about. That y'all can sell 100. Just load it up. Doesn't matter when it ships. I like it. I'm trying to get to 100 today. So if you guys could do that. I would greatly appreciate you. So, just because I like to be able to tell the rook, you don't know what the hell you're talking about. 100 Collectors Club, Jesse. I'm trying to sell 100 today. 
I told the Rook that the nation could would, uh, especially when they found out. I wouldn't, Anthony. Especially when I figured y'all found out you could get you could be one of the ones to get. Uh, we're doing twenty four hobby boxes for April. That we could sell a hundred. Rook said y'all couldn't do it. So, uh, if y'all uh, do purchase one hundred collectors club, I'll have to run it by Nate first, obviously. But I'll try to come up with some kind of crazy, uh, crazy ass donkey call that'll be unveiled tomorrow evening. Okay. But the only way you're gonna get this crazy ass donkey call that I'm gonna try to come up with tonight, I'm gonna try to stump him. Something that nobody has requested before. Uh, it's going to be interesting. Um, but you got to get you got to get that hundred for me. Flex up and show that I know the nation better than a rook. I've been rolling with y'all, working here for over a year now. Todd, I'd love to shoot Roman candles at the rook again. That was a fine night. I can't wait for Cinco de Mayo. I think shit might we might literally burn this fucking place down. So. Uh, but again, guys, I gave you your Dragapalooza updates. I hope I hope a whole bunch of y'all can come. Chuck Dan said he bringing like six. Or, you right, Rook said he bringing like six motherfuckers with him from Detroit. Um, load it up, but Blake February Collector Club been gone. If you're talking about March, those are going out tomorrow. So, like I said, folks. Uh, when you're ordering, if you have the time, I understand sometimes we're in a hurry, just trying to hurry up and get an order in. But if you have the time, uh, check out those descriptions. I try to put dates in there when I can. So, uh, sometimes I forget though. I'll be honest, I make mistakes. But yeah, let's let's do that. Y'all sell the hundred collectors clubs that I said we could, and uh, we'll do that. I'll cut, like I said, I will think up a donkey call that has never been requested and never been heard. And if Nate is okay with it, we'll unveil that tomorrow night. Dragapalooza, Smitty, real quick. It's a get-together uh, that we planned. Uh, it's for members of the nation. Uh, they're going to come down here during the NFL draft. Uh, we're going to have a party and a good time. We're going to break some cards. Uh no problem, Blake. I figured you meant March. It just threw me off when you're like February. I was like, damn. Um, but it's just going to be a great time. A lot of us get to meet each other, uh, bust some product, maybe share a few adult beverages. Like, it's going to be a good time, man. That's what that's what Dragapalooza is all about. Um, hopefully next year it'll be in that K city and that T state that we love so much that shows a lot of love to us. Maybe the tap girl will... Be able to make an appearance. That'd be amazing. Um, but, yeah. So, sell me them 100 collectors clubs, folks. Because I, I, I'm not even sure. I'm not even sure what crazy-ass donkey call I'm going to ask for. Uh, but I want to think about it. And I want to come up with some shit that's going to be amazing. So, thanks for all the support, guys. On a serious note, uh, like I said, you could get uh, GoPro. Ooh, Kev, I don't know... I don't know that I want proof of what debauchery is about to come. Right? I, I, you know, hell yeah, go Reds. I'm worried about being able to be blackmailed. All right? I would appreciate it if the nation has bail money on hand. And like I said, man, the three ways to get on my good side for Dragapalooza, be Skyline Cheese Conies, La Rosa's Pizza, and uh, Hennessy. I'm just throwing that out there. Ah, Blake, I get it, buddy. We all got to pay them bills, baby. Um, I keep fucking with y'all, man. Seriously, though. Um, I'm just joking around. Don't try to bring a pizza or some cheese conies down from Cincinnati, okay? It's just going to make your car stink. It's not going to taste... Uh, um, it's not going to taste very good. Like, I'm just joking around, okay? So please, please, please don't do that. I'm just, I'm totally joking. I don't want your car smelling like onions or pizza and then me not even enjoying it because it doesn't taste good or you enjoyed half of it before you tried to present it to me. I don't want to do any of that either. So, 
Henny for sure, Jim. I love the Hennessy boy. Henny thing is possible when we drink the Henny. See you, big rook, man. You have a great night, buddy. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to dip up off here, guys. Just got to spend 45 minutes or so with my favorite people. It's always a blast talking to you guys. I hope I shared some good information. I'd like to see one of y'all nut dragon son of a bitches buy that 12-pack hockey puck thing, okay? It's 12 hockey pucks in there with some potentially really big names. And we'll, bu and we'll bust them. And you get to keep all 12 hockey pucks. And then the rook has to try to figure out how to ship 12 hockey pucks. Because I'm going to let him figure that one out. So. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Much love. Uh, so I'm going to hop off here. Have a great night. We will see you tomorrow. Busting up a whole bunch of encased. And next week, baby, NT. NT. I love that shit. It's going to be huge, all right? Hey, man, Bowser. Watch the video, man. I've answered that 74 times. I hope you fucking with me. Take it easy, guys. We'll see you later. Love y'all. Deuce. Maybe.